up in front of you now, I think you recognize that we've got a candle in a candelabra. I think it's very lovely. Now, it's interesting. We've been working with methane, propane, butane, octane. We've gone from gases, little molecules, to the liquid, larger molecules. And now, believe it or not, this candle is mostly made out of paraffin, wax. You can buy this in the grocery store. You can make candles. You can buy candles. The fuel, I shouldn't tell you this. I'm giving it all the way. The fuel now is a larger, higher molecular weight molecule, nicknamed paraffin or wax. What can you tell about the flame? Is it complete combustion or incomplete? You'll notice that it is not blue. Here's blue. You'll notice that it's yellow. That means that it is not complete combustion. Why? Because you can't get enough air to it. But it's burning. And it's, usually you want a candle for light. I would ask you, as a challenge, what is the molecular structure of this wax or paraffin? By the way, it's not the same as earwax. That's another type of molecule. It's a wax, but it's and beeswax is a different kind of molecule. They're called esters. This is a hydrocarbon. This is derived from crude oil that you hear about in the news, the price of crude. After they take off the gasoline, the kerosene, all that stuff, you're left with wax, or you get some wax. Now, I'm going to light a match, uh, just since i got a fire here. I'm going to blow the candle out. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to blow it out. You watch what's happening. I'm going to blow it out. Did you see what happened? I'm, i got to do it again. When you blow candles out, you get this white smoke. Did you notice that I can reignite the candle without even touching the wick? Did you see it jump? That white smoke is paraffin. It's a fuel. It's combustible. You can oxidize it. And this, if you study the candle, like a famous scientist called Michael Faraday, he wrote a whole book on the chemistry of the candle. If you ever find it, it's lovely. But it explains and gets into back in the 1800s how they studied this device. Hydrocarbon, combustion. See if you can find out the structure of the wax, combine it with oxygen, and balance the equation. Oh, by the way, just before wax, there's something else. There's another very popular molecule just before wax. Do you know what it is? Vaseline. And just before Vaseline, is home heating fuel and diesel, which are liquids. So, gasoline, diesel, Vaseline, paraffin. That's the hydrocarbon spectrum. They're all fuels, they all oxidize. Some are a little harder to balance the equation, like this one, but we use this for light more often.